Excuse me. Join me, won't you? Have you heard from Babe? No. Should I believe you? Tad already told me everything. Oh, including that your daughter and my son kidnapped the Buchanan baby. That's Babe's child. Now, if Tad told you everything, you know that's true. He also told me that my son is not going to be coming home anytime soon. So add that to the list of horrific things that you've already done. Tell me why I shouldn't rip you apart. Help me understand, Crystal. How can you watch that sweet, kind, young girl who's already been through hell, watch her suffer and know your why? I don't expect you to see it. But I do have a heart and a soul, and it kills me to know what I did to Bianca. I don't have any right to be here, but I'm here for Babe and Jamie's sake, and for the sake of that little baby. Oh, haven't you already done enough for Babe's sake? What can you do for them now? Play decoy and draw fire. I pray, I pray to God that Bianca wakes up, and when she does, there's a very good chance that she's gonna tell JR that his son is alive. Now, Adam and JR are gonna be out for blood, Babe and Jamie's most of all, and I am gonna be here to stand in their way. How noble. You're a piece of work. And so's Jamie. And I mean that in the best possible way. You raised an incredible boy. You should have seen him in Florida with that little boy. No, I should see him here with his family. Babe and Jamie, they call themselves family. The look in his eyes when he watches that baby, it's just, it's fierce and it's loving all at the same time. He is a true father, no doubts, no regrets. Brooke, I know you want your boy back, but he's where he wants to be. And I swear to you, babe knows full well how lucky she is because I have told her a thousand times how hard it is to find a good man. And I ought to know because I never met one until I met Jamie's daddy. Bianca got her baby back. I'm so happy for her. Now well, you see what it means. Never give up hope. Jamie's going to be okay. Too. Excuse me, Dr. Martin. There's a call for you on line one. Thank you, Nancy. Excuse me. Thank you. Oh, praise God and pass the eggnog. Life. Sometimes it really does spark. David, hug me. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> Joe Martin. Yeah. Merry Christmas, Grandpa. Oh, my God. Are you all right? I'm good. We're all good. Except Bianca. Is, is there any change? But you know, in your sense, your sense of timing is just perfect. She just woke up. Erica put Miranda in her arms. And she opened her eyes. She has Miranda back? Yep, safe and sound, and holding her in her arms as we speak. This is so huge. Grandpa, you just gave us the best Christmas present ever. Well, that's good. Now, I want you to return the favor. I'm going to put your mom on. I know. Brooke? Brooke? Call for you. Hello? Merry Christmas, Mom. Mom? Are you there? Yes, I'm here. Oh, honey, are you okay? I'm great. All of us. Miranda and Bianca, too. <laughs> I wish you were here. Mom, um, just be happy for us. Listen, I gotta go. Uh, not yet. It's not safe to stay on the phone. Tell Dad I love him and Merry Christmas. I love you, Mom. Honey, I love you too. Please be careful.